Why What's are you sideways? <laughs> You're sideways for me. You're sideways for me. <laughs> Let's go Have again. you not got yours landscape? Yeah. Maybe, maybe join portrait. There we, there we go. go. <laughs> yeah! 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 We're zooming. We're zooming. We're zooming. We're zooming. We're zooming. <laughs> <laughs> Life hits you hard when we've not got the, uh, the fancy mics and all the equipment. Bro. <laughs> yeah. We've been spoiled, lads. We've been Makes spoiled, bro. Makes it tough, doesn't it? Hey, Ray! <laughs> Ray, get me a whiskey, mate! Is Ray with you? Bloody hell. Yeah. Ray said he was coming to me. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Sick of no, this. mate. I've got, I've got Malcolm. I've got Malcolm with me, mate. Okay. I've got Malcolm with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm all alone. I'm quarantined. I got the Covies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that ain't good. That yeah. ain't good, mate. That ain't good. Not fun. <sighs> so, lad. This is going to be our new norm, mate. For, um... <laughs> for a while, I think. Yeah. Yeah. For at least for at least the next four four, weeks. four or five weeks, yeah, man. So I don't know, mate. I don't know. I'm running out of words to describe. I think because you know it's not a fun on lot. The light for me, it's so much easier if if everything's just shut. Do you know what I mean? If everything's mm. shut, schools are shut. No one's like no one's at work. The streets are completely dead. It's just supermarkets open. It would make, I think, it would make it so much easier for me. But knowing that, like, my nieces, nephews, little brother, are still going to be going to school. People are still going to work. It's just like, I don't know, mate. It's bizarre. Mm. Very it's bizarre, bro. I think it's. I think it's worse. It's definitely a lot worse for the people, isn't it? It's. Uh... Yeah, a bit small businesses and everything else is one thing, a completely mm. separate, separate, absolutely devastating thing. But it's the pe- not seeing people, not seeing your family, not seeing not seeing the people that you need to see is the worst thing, I think. But I think this is it now. I think there's there's more to life than COVID, isn't there? We've got to, we've, we've just got to put up with it. There's, mm. there's nothing really much more we can do, is there? Mm, I know, find, mate. This is this is a new way to live. We've got to find find a way to. True. Get through it. Very true. I'm gonna have to download TikTok again, mate. Boom, 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 boom. Jake was jo- back. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have to join you this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's coming back making TikToks, bro. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, it's the only good thing. It's the only good thing. <laughs> the only <right>. good thing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward oh, to it. Oh, mate. But, um, yeah, it is, mate. I think, you know, obviously last time we were in it, Lars, and we didn't have, we didn't have any of this, um, obviously set up then. We didn't have the podcast, um, you know, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't happening then. Like, I was saying to you, like, I feel as though even though in a lot of ways we've been limited this year, there there is still a lot of stuff. I just know personally for us two that we have managed to sort of achieve and get done. So it's not... I, I get that it's not all doom and gloom. Like, I understand that, but it is just... It's understanding that not everyone's in the same position. We are. Like, I feel fortunate. I've got good family. I've got good friends and whatever. And... You know, I have made some improvements in my personal life, but not everyone's like that. Like, not everyone can say that. So my concern is just those people that were hoping to sort of be out of it by now are obviously just about to go back into it. So it's mentally, it's going to be a lot, man. So Mm, I I, I don't know. I think... um... It's just a it's just a new way to live, isn't it? We have to we have to um, just keep looking after those around us, keep checking on people that are near to us, mm. um, <clears throat> like this. You know, having Zoom chats, having a call, it's not the same. Um, but I think I think like I say, there, there, obviously, 
a lot of restrictions, but there's some that we're just going to have to. Um, well, you know, we can't, you can't obey the rules when when things are, you know, life threatening or a lot more serious than just quarantining. So I think we have to, um, at some point, put our own health first. Yeah. Um, and that that's yeah. not from a point of view where oh let's just go and hang around and socialise just because we want to. It's it's well, but it's about obeying the rules. But at a certain point, you have to push back, really, don't you? Yeah, well, that's the you, thing. You, you, know your, long... you know your own limits. You know your own um, capabilities. Yeah. So it's yeah, it has to be a case of just checking up on these people around us. Mm. That is though, man. That is the. That's the big thing for me, man. That's the big thing. It's it's how long, how long, you know? Because it's you run aware, and I think that's what's bugging people the most. It's not like yeah, we're going to be in this. It's going to be we're in this. We're going to go into this lockdown on Thursday, and then it's going to be reviewed at the start of December. Just reviewed. We're not going to be out of it. We're not going to. We've not been told what tier we're going to be taken out of. It's just going to be reviewed. They turn around in December, which, as everyone knows, is is the best month of the year every year. It's the year you see family, the year you see friends, the year it's 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 the month you're socialising all the time. So it's just people waiting, sort of, for four weeks, struggling, getting through it, and then being told right at the end of it, right, it's going to be another four weeks, it's going to be another six weeks, it's going to be another two months, it's going to be another six months. And eventually people will get fed up and just, as you've said, they will push back. And that goes for me included, like, it isn't normal because guaranteed, I hate saying it, but, but there are going to, the suicide rate is going to go up again over these next four weeks. There are going to be more people self-harming. There are going to be more people that are absolutely crippled financially, mentally, and... I don't know, mate. It's honestly just the case for me. Of... I'm just hoping people can get through it, man. Because the last one, as you know, especially at the start, was super difficult. Obviously, I live alone. So it was, um, yeah, it was very hard. Not seeing nieces, nephews, uh, family for 10 to 12 weeks was, was it was a nightmare, mate. Um, and you you realise if you ain't if you ain't seeing your family and friends, it's not really there's there's not really much to like. There's <laughs> there's nothing else to do. Like it's not yeah. I, I felt like I had no purpose. Like there's nothing. You know, you live at the end of the day. I'm alive to see my family and friends. That's it. Like if my family and friends were here, I wouldn't want to be here. So it is very not being able to socialise with the people that matter most. That's it. That's all you want to have life is to make memories with those you love. So I don't know, mate. I honestly don't know. Um, but I'm just dreading to think where people are going to be in four weeks time. Um, and then obviously there's the government turning around and they could say anything. And I think that's another thing. No one, had, you have absolutely no idea like <laughs> what stage we're going to be in what they say what their response is going to be they could say anything and at this point after this year mate it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me it wouldn't surprise me to turn around and said yeah we're going to go into a full on lockdown for the whole of 2021 it wouldn't surprise me because everything's been a mess yeah yeah i can't i can't really get much worse can it well, exactly then it can <laughs> well i do, i do think there should be i just think there should be a lot more laid back rules for people who live alone. I think it's, I think that they're the people that I really worry for. It's people that live alone that don't like, I'm isolating with Jess at the minute. So I've, I've always got someone here to talk to. If I'm anxious, I can talk to her. If I'm you know, having a bad day, yeah. I can talk to her. I can, if I'm having a good day, uh, I want to socialize a bit more with her, for example, or, you know, even yeah. if I want to do something different, we can go in different rooms and still feel like I have that alone time. But with living on your own, you are just, alone with your own thoughts your own um you know things to do and it, sometimes you need to be chucked out of that mindset to experience other things don't you uh, yeah I, I do think there's, there's got to be something done about that but uh, yeah well what 
what's really surprised me with this lockdown thing is, like I say, it's not that <clears throat> they've not come out in a way that said at the end of November, we're definitely coming out of it. It's a, like I say, it's at the end of November that we're going to re look at the situation. Yeah. And I get that they have to say that, but like Christmas for for small businesses is a massive, massive thing. Like, can, yeah. like profits in at Christmas is, it, it makes yeah. businesses, it makes them breaks a lot of retail businesses, yeah. a lot of high street businesses. I, I just, I just think yeah. that's, that's just that decision there is killed off so many because it's not like businesses can now plan for Christmas in any way. They can't say, right, okay, then at, at least definitely at the end of November, we can plan a campaign or a sale or a promotion or a, you know, come back Christmas, whatever. It's a, yeah. It's going to be a case of, well, we can't really do anything. Do it. Can we order? Can we have staff coming in? No, the restrictions going to change, so we have to spend more on PPE. It's, it's quite scary for for a lot of businesses, I think now. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I. I to be honest, mate, I haven't even. I did. I watched part of the speech yesterday, but I've not been. I've. I've to be honest, I've been trying to avoid it. No, I've, I've not watched the news, stuff. mate, for about if, five months. If I if I get sucked into it again, I know it's going to send yeah. me down a down a path of yeah. wide negativity, and I just can't I can't yeah. let it happen again. No, like lockdown, I could say I was with Jess. I was probably in the best, a really good position more than most, and yet it still affected me quite a lot. And I can't. Yeah. I, I don't want to let myself go into that again. So I think to, to sit there and watch all the news, all the stats, all the data and read it now properly, it would it would overwhelm everyone. 100%. Um, 100%, mate. I don't watch the news, mate. My concern is loved ones. That's it. Family, yeah. friends, that's it. I don't have a... Um... Yeah, I don't know. You'll hear. You'll hear about what the government has in place. I don't need to have the news. I don't need to tune in. I don't need to keep track of what's changing day to day. I don't. People do because they feel as though that is what, you know, is expected of them. And as someone that lives in England, it's just something you have to do. I have to keep up to date a bit. I have to keep refreshing BBC, Sky Sports News, whatever it is, whatever news platform, people feel as though they have to do that 24-7. But they don't understand that you're not going to get any sort of clear answer. You know, you're just going to be winding yourself up. You can check it every single day for the next four weeks. But regardless, you're still going to be in lockdown for four weeks. Yeah. So my advice to people would be is come off social media if you can't handle it. Don't watch the news if you can't handle it. And focus on what's important. And what's Absolutely. important, mate, is, is, is each other. We've not got anything else. I don't ever look at my life mate and especially after this year as i'm sure everyone said self-reflection i don't look at my life as oh i've got you know i've got clothes i've got this i've got that i've got money i've got i don't look at my life like that after this year knowing again living alone looking at my clothes looking at the money in my bank account it doesn't mean anything if i can't see my family and friends it doesn't mean anything i haven't got anything like I've done it doesn't count for nothing like having all this stuff so it is just making sure that people around you are happy it's just making sure people around you are happy it's just making sure that I, I put up a um I put up a post the other day mate on Instagram that just said like you know tomorrow you can have a chance to make someone's day and make sure you take it and that's what it is it's ringing up mates FaceTime and Zoom calls sending them funny long texts, sending them TikToks, whatever it is, keeping people entertained. It's just making sure that people are entertained because I think when this started last time, mate, everyone obviously, no, no one knew what was to come. Obviously, none, none of us can look into the future, but everyone thought it was going to be temporary. And the strongest willed people I know started to get fed up. And when... You when 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 you've got strong people in your life and you see it starts to get to them, that's when you know like it isn't normal what we're going through, you know. So as well as like it is important to keep people's spirits high, you've also got to remind people what you're going through is normal. Like you should be unhappy, you should yeah. feel a little bit depressed, you should feel angry. You sh yeah, 
it's okay to feel that way. There's, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. You're not, you're not less strong as as someone else because you're upset and they're not. It's it's how we're going how we're going to deal with it. And if you have to go and be upset and run on social media, or you have to be, you know, whatever you know, you start arguing with people or anything like that. If you that's your way to deal with it, hats off to you. You're dealing with it at the end of the day. You're dealing with it. And yeah, it's, that's the main 100%, thing. Hundred percent, mate. Hundred percent, mate. But it's so, um, COVID. Yeah. COVID aside, what's your plan? Yeah. Next uh, months, weeks. <clears throat> I don't know, mate. Just carry on as normal, really. I think. Mm. Um. Obviously, I it is a bit heart wrenching knowing that obviously football's going to be cancelled as well. It seems like like grassroots football. I think that's that's going to be cancelled. I don't think it's been confirmed yet, or it might have. I'm not sure, but looking like that's going to go into a winter break so it's not going to be any more football it's obviously heartbreaking and obviously I'm not going to be able to see uh, football cancel like TV football no no I doubt it mate. no because they'll still can yeah I just don't I don't see that well no 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 no, no. I can't see that happening mate no can't see that happening um but yeah I think it is for, for me mate going forward um it's finding another project to do obviously during lockdown we had you know, we had this project that we came up with and I've got a few other projects I've been talking about over the past couple of weeks. So it's just getting them business, getting that business started. Obviously, not going to be able to fully start it, but it's just getting all the back, uh, the background work done for that. And just knowing that, I was talking to someone the other day and I said to him, like, for me, it's about knowing that when we are eventually out of this, I've put myself in the best possible position to go and yeah. pursue other things and take myself forward so it's just it's just ticking off um it's ticking off more more goals obviously my plans are about to change i would i didn't intend on being still you know local living in burton at the start of this year so it's looking like i'm probably i'm most likely going to be here for the next year year and a half so it is it's just about yeah just 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 setting new goals mate and Keeping myself busy and creative, man. Um, what about you? That's good. Um, same, really. A uh, lot going on with work at the minute, a few things. Um, I really want to, de- I'm desperate to launch. Um, definitely want to get more into music. Obviously, I'm doing up the office at the minute and all my music equipment is gathering dust on it, which is quite upsetting. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, as soon as that's done, as soon as I'm off and running, I uh, promise I'm going to put something off. Um, good. Yeah. So good, as soon man. as that's done, it'll be, it was just doing things that, that make you happy. Like I say, if you can't see friends or family, you can't appreciate much else. It's doing things for yourself that's mm. really like, not distracting you, but putting yourself in a different mindset that's not completely you know global news all the time what's going on in the world what's going on out on the street even it's it should be yeah. actually what's going on in here and how can i make yeah. that better yeah 100 um, percent, mate but yeah I've, like you say you just got to do things that make you happy i think i'll be doing quite a bit more cooking um definitely lost touch with that um so i'm doing a lot more a lot more yeah same here Apart from the fact that I'm uh, incredibly upset that I can't taste anything at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely got it. Honestly, yeah. mate, I made, a, made a bacon sandwich this morning. It must have taken me an hour to make this sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it took you an hour to make a it bacon sandwich? It must have taken me about an hour. I was like getting it all perfectly crispy, like tomatoes, yeah. mozzarella on the yeah. bread, like the bread dipped in <laughs> fat and grilled perfectly. <laughs> Honestly, mate, sweet chilli sauce on it. It was, it looked incredible. Yeah. And I just couldn't even eat it, mate. I took like three bites of it. I couldn't taste anything at all. I ended up giving it to Jess. So I was just, I was so upset. I felt like crying, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I bet, I bet Jess was gutted, bro. What you say? Yeah, she was gutted, was yeah. I bet she was heartbreaking for you. Babe, babe, I can't yeah. believe it. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't even want it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, I, no. I made a, we made a like pork and um, mash and like a gravy sauce and veg the other yeah. day, and I couldn't taste anything. I was I was tasting it away, tasting it away as I was cooking, 
I kept on adding salt and spices and I was like, I completely forgot that I had, had COVID and I uh, completely forgot I couldn't taste anything and um, kept on adding all these spices and I was like, I added so much that eventually I could start to taste the difference and I was like, oh, all right, I feel all right now. So yeah. I to Jess and she didn't eat half of it. She was looking at it and this is probably the first time Jess has not eaten a meal that I've made. <laughs> oh, no. she, I looked over and I was like, is it all right? She was like, really salty like what have you put in there <laughs> <laughs> that good i just completely forgot <laughs> i love that bro listen love if you can't taste food you have to sabotage everyone else's food that's yeah you gotta do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you gotta do she can't yeah. eat good food good. yes can't eat good food while you can't <laughs> eat good food bro I thought, uh, yeah. No, i'm about that you need to be petty mate i like yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, yeah. I, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I think, you know what it is? Like, you obviously know, like, you are on the other end in terms of, like, how you're feeling at the minute, like, health-wise. And I think it's that, it's that get up and go, that, that, that bit of urgency. And I think that's why it's so important to, 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 to have something planned um and have a project to work on and and come up with a new project and when i say project it doesn't have to be an amazing glamorous business idea it can be anything that is just going to get you motivated because if you're you're furloughed or you're still working out through whatever unless you love your job which is we both know a lot of people don't you are just going to get miserable because what takes you off your job, what, what, what distracts you from work is getting paid, going out with friends. You're not going to be able to do that. So you need something. You need to replace that social time with something that's going to make you happy. And it doesn't matter what that is, but a lot of people, unfortunately, they're not going to do that. They're going to find it difficult to do that. To, to, to I don't know. I might, after investing an Xbox again and get an Xbox back for four weeks and then get rid of it. Mm. Just purely because last time when this started, that's what I did. That's yeah. what I did. I was on Xbox and I was, you know, with mates online and I was having a laugh because I, I needed something. I was doing TikTok, TikToks. I needed something just to uh, keep me entertained. Mm. Yeah, man. Um, what what so makes you is, motivated? Yeah. In the morning, you um, wake up, what, what makes you now knowing that you're going back into lockdown again knowing that you don't see friend, friends and family what's going to make you motivated what's going to get you up and um, <laughs> motivation for me is mate knowing that we've been we've been through it already mm. that's the motivation uh, my mum was saying to me I was speaking to my mum uh, a couple of days ago mate and she was saying just how resilient people are and we are resilient well, we've overcome a lot in our whole in our whole human history like you know what yeah. i mean we've overcome obviously a lot worse than this but um yeah my motivation mate comes from knowing that we're gonna get over it mm. it's knowing that it's gonna pass it's knowing that obviously i don't know when that is and again as i've said that is the annoying part but it's knowing that we are gonna get over it it's knowing that i am going to put myself in a situation where i, I have got a lot of good stuff going for me you know i think having the podcast um that is just a very 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 small example of something good that can come yeah. from a very very bad situation so it is just knowing that i'm going to make more creative opportunities for myself um and also knowing that like i think you, you can make a difference through social media, through checking up on people, mate. So over the next four weeks, my motivation is sort of, I'm looking forward to checking in on people and keeping people entertained and keeping people's spirits high, you know? Mm. I think that's a, that's a big thing for me, mate, because you don't, obviously I don't realise it myself because I'm me, but there's so many people over the past six to nine months that have sent me messages saying you know you've cheered me up or you've kept me going or um that's exactly what i needed to hear today and 
and you don't really think about it you know you don't really think about it because to you it's just you being you and it, it comes you know stuff comes to you naturally but when you know you can be there for people just through being expressive just through being yourself that is um it's very encouraging man so it is for me just making sure i be the best i can be not just for myself but for other people like it's just making sure i step up and understand that look you can make a difference it's not going to be glamorous but you 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 can make a difference and some improvement is better than no, no improvement mate so yeah what about you what you were uh, what's making you motivated um I'd say I'm quite uh, a methodical person um, yeah. and sometimes that's really good and sometimes that's really bad. I definitely yeah. noticed that being, having COVID and having to be in complete lockdown, like not just go to the shops, complete lockdown, can't go out of your house. Mm. I've realised that that's bad. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll wake up in the morning and within the first five, ten minutes, I've written down a list mentally in my head of the things I'm going to do which is great because it gets me out of bed. It gets me to do that first thing and keeps me occupied throughout the day. But I'm so occupied in what I'm doing, I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. And when that list of things runs out, like it has done very quickly in the past few days because I just physically can't do the things I want to do, um, I'm, I'm just lost. I'm, I'm stewing, I can't sit still, I'm fidgety, I'm anxious, and that's when I get start to get worried. Um, yeah. Because it's just, I think that's how I deal with things. I'm, I'm, I sort of occupy my mind with so much, so many things, so that I'm not having to think about it. I kind of like push it off, and then once they're done, that's when I can't relax. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. Like past few days, like yesterday, for example, uh, was probably the first Saturday, um, in. I can't even remember that I've not gone into the office. I've not worked. I've not yeah. done something work related. Or go yeah. up, you know, I've been at, been at work and I, I was just, just sitting with Jess while watching a film or something. I just couldn't sit still at all. I was just couldn't, was not concentrating on the film, wasn't concentrating on anything. I just could not relax yeah. in any way because that's not my time to relax. That's the day. Like, yeah. Yeah. The morning I don't relax at this time in the day. Like, if it's seven o'clock onwards, that's fine because what can you do past seven anyway? But yeah, yeah I definitely have struggled in that respect the past few days. But so I'm going to have to, when I wake up, change that list of things that I can do. So I am occupied because, yeah, I can't, I can't wait for this to change. I can't rely on the government to change it. So, yeah, hundred percent, mate. You are. I love you. I start doing workout videos again. Uh, I might yeah. do it. I might do it just as a just as a spoof. Stay with me, ladies. <laughs> Keep with me. Come on. <laughs> We're going. We're going. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, yeah. it is. Um... Yeah, man, you are just so Josh. You you are just like you always do. You always you always find something, man. But again, it's 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 understanding that for me, yes, I'm creative. Yes, I'll find something to do. It's understanding that the the people out there that aren't creative, mm. the people out there that you know solely rely on being social, it's what they're going to do. And and this really is these are the kind of times where you do need to. You know, you've you've been through it before, so it's like right this time I need to approach it different. Like I've seen, I saw a statement the other day from a friend that was really nice, and he said last time we were in it, I was really like down, I was really negative, and it really got to me. So this time I'm going to make sure, or I, you know, I try and stay as positive as I can, checking on family, checking on friends. And I thought to myself, like that's brilliant because you you're knowing you're mentally preparing yourself for what's to come. It ain't yeah. going to be easy. But it's saying that, uh, right, last time I didn't deal with it well, fair. But it's just knowing that um, going forward. Oh, what's happened here? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, I think it's my AirPods uh, battery just gone. Um, it's just knowing that going forward, that you you just do what you can, like. And I think yeah. it isn't about we're not again. You're not going to be able to change anyone's life. All you can do yeah. is be there for people and try and do it as best you can. No one's got the answers. Yeah. There's no like handbook that says how to deal with fucking COVID, how to yeah. deal with with lockdown. So mm. it's just mm. do what you can. Yeah, positive vibes only. That's it, bro. That is yet. it, mate. That is it. But mm. we'll see, bro. I've got a bottle of uh, AU vodka to keep me company anyway. Like, <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah. Have you tried it yet? AU vodka. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I didn't think I didn't even think you liked vodka. I don't, Lars, but I think <laughs> we would like this. We would okay. like this. Is it a certain it's flavour? A, yeah, there's loads of different flavours, bro. This one's black grape, this one is. Ooh. Um Yeah, man. Yeah. Well I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna bring it into the office this week. And have a little oh. bit uh, on the show, oh. but that's uh, <laughs> you have to drink it all. That's obviously not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you have to drink it all next next Sunday. <laughs> hey, I'm just a piece. I'll be doing it. I'll be doing it like this next. <laughs> yeah, Jacob, turn around, turn around. Lars, <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, bro. We'll uh, we'll get a we'll get a bottle we'll get a bottle for Christmas, man, and make it up. You know, thing is though, lads. I don't. My worry isn't. Yes, obviously, I, I care about my friends, care about my family, but my I know we'll make that time back, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I know we'll I know we'll go on holidays. I know we'll go on trips away. I know we'll go on days out. I know we'll have really good jamming sessions. The podcast. I know we'll make up for the time. My my concern isn't that because I know going forward what I'm going to do with my family and friends. My concern is the people that don't have the family and friends I've got. That's my what. What are they going to do, mate? Like if you live alone right now and you've only got your mum and dad, or you've only got one parent, you've got no brothers yeah. and sisters, you've only got one group of friends. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's them people that have got a lot less. So as much as I am grateful, it is still... It's, it's scary, man. It's scary to think about what people are going through and, yeah, just what they're going to have to put up with. But no one knows what's going to happen, mate. No one knows what's going to happen from one week to the next. No one, no one knows what's going to happen in four weeks. No one knows what Christmas is going to be like. Um in terms of small business and people that have probably you got to think man some people in the last couple of months have probably just managed to get back on the feet um, yeah and well, now some people have just managed to get a job start yeah. a new job finally and then they can't go anymore <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's crazy so but again mate we, every, no one's no one's ready for it no one's prepared for what's to come because it's not happening yet so it is just when you do get new information do what you can do whatever you can um but i just don't want anyone thinking that that they're going through any any of this alone regardless yeah. of what situation you are there's no one that's going to be enjoying this there's no one i can't think of anyone that's going to be having a great time because even if you are someone that doesn't like going out and seeing people that doesn't mean that you still don't like going out do you know what i mean it isn't always just about yeah i like being sociable and i like being around other people sometimes it's just about having the freedom to travel having the freedom to go out for food even if it is on your own yeah it, you know it's just about doing stuff with other people it's just about having the option to just jump on a train and go somewhere and go and stay somewhere for a weekend by yourself you know there are people out there that are like that so mm. everyone's struggling mate but yeah if you've got lucky people around you man and a good family then count yourself lucky 
not everyone not everyone's got that mm. not everyone's got that mate yes this is my house mate for the next four weeks <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Say hello to Lawrence. <laughs> I need to stop stroking it. it so good. God help us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, bro, you know what we're like, though. You do next weekend's next weekend's episode. You're just going to be us two fucking pissed up, mate. Let's be.